Okay, so had some issues like I've had with this thing. Um, the well, here, let me turn this a little bit. Maybe you can see. So I came out this morning and I finished this uh, tow bar assembly for my toboggan. That's my to toboggan right now that's currently bolted up to the unit. And I made, uh, last night I had all kinds of problems. I made it too long, the tongue. And I was like way far away from the handlebars. So I had to do some bunch of modifications, but I actually like the way I got it better now. Um, because... I'll show you. Let's get the old camera tripod here. You see that? Yeah. So before, I had really long arms, trailing arms on here, and, I didn't, and it put me too far away. So now all I have to do is I shorten everything up, and I take the pin out like this, and I back the sled off. Now the hitch folds up like that. And I can use the toboggan. It doesn't weigh hardly anything, so I can use the toboggan now if I just want to walk out on the ice and go fishing. I just fold the tow bar back. The tow bar stays on permanently. So, uh, yeah, I'm real happy with this design. The um, pivot, I made a pivot point here so the toboggan can twist independent of the machine. want a tight fit on this, but now the toboggan can twist independent of the machine for uneven ground, you know, both up and down and left to right. So I'm pretty jacked about my invention there. That worked pretty good. But now the quandary I have is a wife came out in the shop and um, to see it and we're trying to figure out how to get a passenger in this little toboggan so here it is standing and then you drop the handlebars down to the sitting position so it's, it's perfect for me but how do I get a passenger in here with leg room you know behind me so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a, a frame that goes around the outside of this tub because this lip is pretty strong. So I'll build that out of angle iron and mount the seat kind of off the back a little bit. And that will um, allow leg room right here for a passenger's feet. And then I pretty much that kind of scraps my idea. I was gonna build a big rack off the back of here to store two pails that hang off the back, but that's gonna, gonna if a person's sitting there, that's gonna kind of screw that up. So, um, I think what I'll do is, I, I was kind of thinking about, okay, when I do go fishing, um, what do I usually take for equipment? And it's usually a bucket of rods and tip ups and tip downs, you know, equipment, and then um, a minnow bucket and my fish finder and my auger. And that's pretty much it. And then a, another bag for, uh, you know, 
of smokes and drinks and food and whatnot. So I think I can get all that. So what I'm going to do is I'll have the middle pail between my legs here. My equipment pail will be on the machine, like you see the pail, well you can't really. Um, let me turn this a little bit. There we go. So the equipment pail will go on the machine in the rack that I built for that. Just like this. I have enough space in the front for my little fish finder. My backpack with all my gear goes up on the rack here. Minnow pail goes between my legs, between my feet, and then the back passenger sits back here. And two coffees, and then a cell phone, and possibly a fish finder sitting right on here. So, yeah. Um, I think I got what I need. So that's what I'm gonna run with. I'm gonna design now, I'm gonna design this chair for the back, for the passenger. And uh, now that I got the hitch all done, I'll get that knocked out. I got another one of these boat seats sitting in storage here. And uh, we'll do that. So. I'm gonna mount the seat to the floor of the toboggan, but I'm gonna make it removable so I can take the seat off um, for transporting it, or if I don't wanna use the seat, you know, uh, if I'm just towing the toboggan by hand, if I'm walking out on a lake or something to go fishing. So uh, yeah, I had a heck of a time, I spent, probably two and a half hours this morning trying to get that uh, jack shaft sprocket off of there. I ended up, because um, I welded it on to the shaft, so I ended up having to cut it off. Cut it in half. Um, I threw the sprocket out in the house. I showed the wife. Um, I cut it with a, with a cutoff wheel in two places and then split it with a cold chisel just to get it off the jack shaft. And that's because when I welded it on there, I couldn't grind all of the weld off of the shaft so that the gear would slide off of the shaft properly. So it was getting hung up and I had a big puller on there. I heated it up with a torch, got on it with the big impact wrench and I could not pull it. So I had no choice, I had to cut it in half. So yeah, um, so that was quite the lesson in futility this morning. Took a lot out of me, actually. Um, but now we'll try to create a, a back seat. So, yeah, this should be fun. <laughs>